Hey there, it's Robert from robertcbrand.online. I hope you're having a spectacular day wherever you are in the world today. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about effective ways to prevent burnout. For obvious reasons, you need to, to, to avoid burning yourself out, and I'm going to talk about why you need to get that sorted out. I'm also going to talk to you about what you need to do in order to um, avoid burnout and obviously maintain performance over a long period of time without burning out and I'm also going to tell you specifically how to get it done and make it stick. How does that sound? But if that's not enough, at the end I'm going to give you where to go for more resources, support and if you want more questions answered. Okay, so with all of that said, I hope you're buckled up and raring to go as I am. Set? Let's go. Okay, so why you need to get this handled is pretty obvious, I've got to tell you. Um, I'll be surprised if you don't realise why you should get this handled and avoid burnout. Um, I myself, many years ago, went through a period of burning myself completely out. And the time it took me to come back to my normal levels of operation to feel kind of okay here in my heart and have the energy and passion to get back in the game and move forward with my life. Well, it took me, I've got to be honest with you, it took me a number of years because I burnt out to such a degree. So there's not, this is not coming from a place of theory. This is coming from a place of personal experience. Okay. Not just my own experience, but obviously working with many clients over the years who have had the similar issues where I've been able to, as a result of what I've been through and my training, I've been able to go through and help them overcome uh, what's causing their issues and ultimately ending in them burning out. But it is something that's a very serious problem for people. And in today's kind of like, you know, rush around kind of hectic style lifestyle that we've all got um, the way that world moves so quickly these days it's very easy to get caught up in everything that's happening everybody else's agenda wants needs desires all that stuff and get swept along and then suddenly find out that it's all getting a little bit too much for you well when you get to that place um, everything starts to shut down and you really don't want to go there so um, you need to get this handle Suffice to say, you need to get this handled. Okay, so let's tackle the subject of burnout and what actually causes burnout in the first place. Now, I've drawn up a very, very short little list, but I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Uh, but there's a theme that you'll pick up on this, okay? So things like too many jobs, too many thoughts, failure or inability to delegate, not tackling the most important stuff first. I want to stop there and just say that something I picked up many, many years ago, and I, I, I would like to credit who I got this from, but I can't remember where I got it from right now. But there is a saying that there is never enough time to do everything. Never enough time to do everything. But there is always enough time to do the important things. That is the key to avoiding burnout, is to realise that your time should be spent doing important stuff. And I, I would recommend tackling that first, okay? Deal with the important stuff first and let all the other stuff, stuff sweat for a while, okay? It can wait. It can wait. I would refer you, actually, to Stephen Covey's uh, seven Habits book. If you've never read it, you should read that book. Um, because he goes through the four quadrants of importance of tasks that need to be done. And it's really, really, really good for clarifying what absolutely is important to you and urgent, important, not urgent, not important, not urgent, all of that stuff, so that you can get a handle on what needs to be done right now. And here's another thing, by the way. 
I'm talking not just in a business sense, but in a personal sense as well. But but certainly if you're in business, there are certain jobs within your business that can only be done by you. Everything else within reason that doesn't have to be done by you should be done by somebody else, okay? Otherwise, you will end up wearing too many hats in your business, doing too many jobs, and you will burn out. Simple as. If you were to draw out an organisational structure right now of your business, I'm talking to you now if you're a business owner, how many of the boxes in your organisational structure have got your name in them as the person who's assigned to that role? Do the exercise if you've never done it you might get a bit of a scare because you'll probably find that right now your name is in most, if not all of those boxes. If you want to avoid overwhelm and ultimately burnout, then that needs to change. You need to delegate to people and you need to spend your life doing the things that give you the biggest benefit, i.e. doing the stuff that is the highest value returning, or giving you, sorry, the highest value return on your time, giving you the most benefit in terms of making you feel good when you get it done and stuff like that. Don't get caught up in tasks that bring you down, that are minutiae, that can be given to somebody else. You need to spend all of your time focusing on the direction of your life and or business and doing what needs to be done by only you to keep yourself on track to the intended outcome or goal. Okay, so we've come to that part of the video where we're gonna discuss how to overcome or avoid burnout, okay? The really important nitty gritty part of the video. Well, listen, it's very, very simple. There was a theme, I mentioned that earlier, a theme in the little list that I went through of things that could possibly be causing burnout in your life right now. And by the way, I could have kept going on that list forever, pretty much. It was a very, very short list to give you a a little bit of an idea. But really the theme is too much, too many. You got that, right? Too much, too many. Too much thought, too much thinking, sorry, or too many thoughts, too many jobs, wearing too many hats in the business, whatever it might be. Um, Your name in too many boxes in in, in the organisational structure, too much, too many. You need to trim it. That's what you need to do. Now I see a lot of people, especially people that are running their own businesses as well, with a to-do list that that is is just ridiculously long. So what you're effectively doing, you're coming into each and every working day and you look at your list and it's almost like facing a plate of food that's stacked up like this. You just take one look and you just think to yourself, there's no way I can ever get through that. And not only does it set you up for frustration, but it actually, it takes away your energy and your commitment to actually getting it done in the first place because you have that doubt that you can even manage it. So what you need to do is reduce what's on your plate, okay? So I would suggest start with that to-do list. Start with, let's say, three goals every day. Three major things that you have to do every day in your business or in your life that can only be done by you and that will empower you and make you feel really good about yourself if you get them done, okay? Get those done as a priority each and every day before you even consider doing anything for anybody else or any of the other little stuff that you might want to get around to if you can. That's the first thing. Prioritise what's important to you. Prioritise what's going to give you the most value back for your time and effort. And do those things first. And try and minimise it down to three to five things a day. And no more. So you can really focus. And you'll be left with energy over at the end of it. Because because you haven't gone into it with a list of 15 or 20 things you're trying to accomplish in one day. It isn't possible, and if you do manage it, it will mean you're not doing things properly. Does that make sense? So start with your to-do list. If you're in business, do that exercise I mentioned. Draw out your organizational structure, put your name in every box 
applying to every role in that in in your business where you're actually performing that role right now face it and where you have an issue with your name being in too many of the roles you need to look at getting that delegated now you may say i'm not ready to delegate i can't afford to bring people into my business right they're all excuses there is always a way if you have the will find the will commit to finding the way and the way will present itself to you trust me it works you need to avoid overwhelm or you will ultimately go into burnout and as i've said before it can take an awful long time to recover once you go all the way so simplify your days remember the law of straight lines as i call it okay so don't get caught up in distractions, other people's agenda. The quickest route from point A to point B is a straight line. Simplify your life and your business like that. Okay, simplify everything down so that you're working with straight lines from point A to point B to point C to point D. I could continue, okay? You don't get caught up in anybody else's wants, needs, desires. You just stay focused on doing whatever is important to you. You will avoid overwhelm and you will ultimately avoid burnout. And you will go on to be very, very successful because what that also does by clearing away the clutter and staying focused on your outcome, what's important to you, your agenda, then you're ultimately going to propel yourself forward to your desired outcome and the outcome and the accomplishment of your goals that much quicker. Okay, so I hope you found that inspiring. I hope you're going to take action on that. You know, take a look at everything that's creating overwhelm in your life right now. And if you want to avoid burnout, get it handled right here and right now. Okay, remember, it's your life. You're in control. Everything you experience, every challenge that comes up, and faces, faces off to you is something you've created on some level at some point on your journey. But the great news is if you've created it, you can do the opposite and you can remove it and replace it with something way, way better. Okay, so before I go, this has been an absolute pleasure bringing you this video. I wanted to say quickly, if you wanna dig even deeper on this subject or you are committed to finding out more about all things personal development, spiritual alignment, all of that good stuff, then get across to robertcbrown.online. That's robertcbrown.online and get yourself on my email list. Join my community. It's full of like-minded individuals that are committed to their own personal development journey and spiritual alignment. And they're also committed to making a positive difference in the world too. I've got a funny feeling that may also include you. And if so, I'd love to welcome you over there as part of the family. So that's it with me. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget, I'm here every day doing a little bit of something or another. So keep checking in and uh, hopefully you'll pick up some nuggets of wisdom along the way, which will empower your life. Okay, so that's it from me. Take care. It's Robert here. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you've really, really enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed this, then please subscribe to this channel and come back and see many, many more doing these things all the time. And if you wanna know when the next one comes up, click the little bell and you'll get a notification each and every time we've got a new video up there for you to have a look at. Um, and the other thing is, I nearly forgot. If you look, love everything to do with personal development, business development, and just getting yourself into a peak state, then you're gonna to wanna to get over to my free webinar training, which is gonna show you exactly the steps to take to overcome any inner barriers that are stopping you from achieving in life and business right now, and exactly what to do to get that put right and start living the life of your dreams, starting right now. Sounds like a tall order? Promise you, you can do this stuff. Get across to my webinar training, the link is in the uh, description below this video. I hope to see you there. And at the very least, I hope that you click the bell. I hope you subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you back here again soon.